Good morning. Welcome back to my show. But good morning, Ayla. Welcome back to, to my wake show. up and be happy because you get to see me and support you your fellow Eagles. <laughs> I've missed you guys over the weekend. Right. Absolutely, though, it's October 23rd, and we've lined up some exciting new things for you. <laughs> That's correct. Starting with the pledge, let's demonstrate our patriotism. Hand it over to Juan for the pledge. Take it away, Juan. I pledge allegiance to the United States, to the flag of the United States of America, and to the public for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Which Juan. Now let's adjust a few important matters. Such as my looks. But <laughs> Miss Moreno will be making a quick announcement for us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, so first I wanted to congratulate the volleyball team for being the winningest volleyball team Ayla's ever had. And they're going to announce later, but I'm going to give you a spoiler. They're going to state. They won the regionals game. So if you have a volleyball player in your classroom, congratulate them. They worked really hard for it. Okay, so Mrs. Jensen had me come on the announcements to talk about technical colleges because it's almost call week. And um, I used to teach at a cosmetology school for about 15 years. And so I, because I taught there, I knew like all the things and how great like a technical college can be. Um, I know that there's a lot of people that are interested in barbering or cosmetology, things like that. Um, there's more to cosmetology than just curling irons and hairspray. There's a lot of stuff that we need to know. I use math every day in haircuts. It's all geometry. It's all things like that. We also need anatomy and phys. We actually have a big chapter on anatomy and physiology. We have to know where all the bones in the body are, all the blood supplies, all of those things. Um, when we are cutting hair, there's maps on the school that we use, like your parietal ridge, your occipital bone in the back. We also need to learn chemistry because we need to know what happens when you mix peroxide and ammonia. And we need to know what monothioglycate does to your hair. So those are the kind of things that you learn in hair um, in cosmetology school. But barbering, I know that there's a lot of kids that are really interested in barbering. Um, it's about 1,600 hours to get your license when you um, do cosmetology school or barbering school, 1,600 hours. is. If you go full-time, it's about a year. If you go part-time, it's slightly longer, but it's something that is really worth going to. You can also go to MTech while you're a senior in high school and start your career pathway there. You can also do a lot of other things like at MTech and other technical colleges and start while you're in high school. It's a really great option for you. And if you have any questions, I work with a lot of different hair schools and I can help you get set on your path. Um, I also know a lot of people that own um, hair salons and stuff like that, so it's easy to find a job. So that is about it. If you have any questions, Mrs. Jensen is a great resource or you can find me in the hallway. Back to Cannon and Tad. Thank you, thank you. Uh, hey, can we get a round of applause? That's an amazing job. Do an amazing <laughs> job with the announcements. Please stop by if you do want to be a barber, because that takes a lot of heart to get up here. Which is me, but so I'll be doing. Make sure if you're joining in that, just go ahead and talk, talk to, to Mr. Mr. Moreno. Moreno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got this one. Uh, <laughs> join <laughs> uh, Why not? They love hearing my voice. I'll read it. <laughs> join LA Hosa, where future health professionals unite. As you are, you passionate about? Per Pursuing, pursuing <laughs> a career in the healthcare field, or maybe you're just looking for an exciting and exclusive job. Hey, slow down, slow down. I can't read that fast. <laughs> Save the date. Our opening social, when? October 25th, 2023, during lunch. Where? Room 334. Ayla Hosa is not just a club, it's a community where future health professionals come together to learn, to grow, and make lifelong friends. Whether you dream of becoming a star basketball player, such as myself, becoming a doctor, nurse, pharmacist, therapist, or any other healthcare professional, ALA Hosa offers you a supportive and educational environment to explore your interests. 
Oh, uh, what can you expect from our opening social? I'm glad Meet you asked. friends, <laughs> connect with like-minded individuals who share your passion for healthcare, learn about our club, discover the amazing opportunities and events we have in store for you. This year, grow your knowledge, get <laughs> insights into <laughs> the healthcare field and the steps you can take <laughs> to achieve your dreams, such yeah. as me going to the NFL because my dream will be coming soon true soon but fun and games enjoy some games and activities wow. making the social and unforgettable experience don't miss this chance to kick start your journey toward toward a future in healthcare and create lasting memories bring your friends bring your curiosity and get ready to be a part of something extraordinary see you there on october 25th in room 334 let's embark on this incredible journey together with me, of course, because I will be <laughs> with <but> with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for this boring anchor over here. Now let's get what? back to the fun side. And for those of you with <laughs> growling, some of we got some delicious drumsticks for lunch today. <laughs> My <laughs> tummy <laughs> is rumbling just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, I'm not <laughs> enough excitement because look at me, I have a mustache now because I'm a man. Let's, but let's here's a live model for you. You have to shave that. People you said that. <laughs> People with integrity do <laughs> do what they say. They are going to going to and <laughs> others have excuses. By a no, let's just say it's by, by me no, because, because that sounds like something I would say because I'm so holy. Really, <laughs> that's what's up folks. Now let's check out what's happening in the Tad Sky. If you guys haven't caught on, that's a synonym for beautiful. So what's happening in the Tad Sky? Juan, please tell us about the weather. <laughs> Don't mess up. This weather's gonna be a high of 70 and a low of 38. Back to you guys. <laughs> I freaking love one. Uh, thank you, Juan. <laughs> thank now you, let's Juan. dive right into a sport. <laughs> here's what's <laughs> happened for sports today. The only thing I think about is that we have to. Uh, here's, a copy of, <laughs> here's a copy of Junior High Baseball team photo. We need to congratulate our. Oh, never mind. Slow down, slow down. Thank you, baseball, and good photo, I guess. <laughs> Even though I'd be swinging the rock like that, but that's just me personally, cause. But anyways, and congratulations to Bobby volleyball. Volleyball made it to state. <laughs> Woo! They did it really good, and they played a great game. So, yeah, oh, that, I that just set you guys have a That was wow. amazing. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah, that's really to cool. The, but seniors who played, cause they are playing their hearts out this season, cause it's their last season. So shout out to. Uh, let me see if I can name all the seniors. Shout out to Myla, Myla, Leah, Leah, Cam, Cam, Leah. Leah. Kate. Go Kate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Allie. Allie. Yeah. I think that's it, really. But they played a great game, yeah. and yeah, so great job. And see you guys on Friday, because I will be there at the UVU tournament. Uh, I will be there. I will be there for uh, state. One Charity more thing before know. we get to the announcements. I just want to say, I will be trying out for the baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> that's I will be swinging the rock It's all good. It's all good. That's no. just me. All students, 7th through 12th, if you have not used all your punches on your pink hall pass for tournament one, Please stop by Miss World's desk in the high school. Show her your card to enter your name into a drawing. Ooh, Personally, I will be doing the drawing because you I haven't used it. You so. may stop by during class breaks, during lunch, and before or after school. Do not go during class time. I repeat, do not go. Do not leave your card at her desk. She just needs to see your card and write down your name. Ah, uh, and now let's and let's not forget the as can. I mean, as one pledge. Tad, what does the S stand for? Swearance? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, the S stands for stand. It means I will stand up and defend others who are bullied or criticized or gossiped about. Don't do that. How they gossip about how That's the spirit, them. folks. Let's ensure we're spreading amazing vibes like I do. And spread tad vibes. Look how happy I am look this how morning. Happy how about because, you spread some tad like, vibes? If you look like me, it's just a blessing it's already. No. I've been blessed by Heavenly Father, no. so thank you, God. No. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, do you want to leave want your to leave legacy, legacy on the school? My jersey's going to be retired, but I want to leave a legacy. But do you want to leave a legacy on the school? <laughs> Students, there is time to sub there's still time to submit to your book cover for the cover art contest. Digital and hand-drawn or painted art is accepted. The cover must be retro-themed and include leave a legacy. The winner of the contest will win a prize, including a $20 shipping card and a picture with me, of course. <laughs> the deadline is October 26th. See Mr. Lockwood for more, more details. Uh, 
But that is not all we have for today. I would just like to say that I did beat Cannon and Madden. He did weekend. not, actually. I beat him the first I game. Beat he was him. Salty. He so he quit. I beat him. It was 12 to 40. It wasn't, though. It wasn't. Like it that. was 30 something. But to 40. other than that, <laughs> I have could a have, have a Cannon and Madden. I love you guys. I love you guys. Love you guys. Thank you for being on my show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so drippy. <laughs>